Heavenly Father, I want to take the time to pray for people that is struggling with any type of trauma. Heavenly Father, especially for all the persecuted lambs and your children. Father God, that struggle with any type of trauma. Heavenly Father, being persecuted by their oppressors through any type of modern day slavery program throughout this world. From children to adults that are being persecuted and abused and oppressed by their controller handlers. Heavenly Father, through these modern day slavery programs and outside of the modern day slavery programs throughout this world. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. But before I pray for all the traumatized souls out there, Heavenly Father, I want to give thanks unto you and honor to you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for a new day. I thank you, Father God, for helping me make it to another day, a new day, to today. I thank you, Father God, for breathing your life inside of me so I can live. Because you are everlasting and eternal life, Father God. You are an ever-living God that lives forever, Heavenly Father, Jehovah, Yah. Jesus, you are God that reigns and lives forever, Jesus. And I thank you, Jesus, that you live inside of me. I thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and your kindness and your love for me. I thank you, Jesus Christ, for dying on the cross for me and all mankind. Jesus, I thank you for your goodness and your love and for approving of me, Jesus, and that you are my oldest brother. You are my Lord and Savior. You are my rock and my shield. You are my fortress. You are my all in all. You are my prince of peace. You are my redeemer and my healer and my deliverer, Jesus. You are my friend that stick it closer than a brother than anybody, Jesus. And you are always there for me, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for helping me. I thank you for being so kind and merciful to me, Jesus Christ, and to the children of God, to all the children and people of God, oh, Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Jehovah Yah, my Heavenly Father, that you are my Father, and you are my God. You are my rock and my shield and my fortress. You're my all in all, Father God, and you care so much for me. I thank you for your wonderful compassion that you have for me, Jehovah Yah. I thank you that you are a God that puts up with me and forgives me and, and that is patient with me. Thank you, Father, for being so patient with me and your children when we come short of your glory and when we fall short in trespass. I thank you, Father God, for putting up with me even when I get upset and get impatient with you and trusting in you for things that I'm praying for and putting up with me, Father God, even when I'm coming to you. Father God, when hands open all at, at times, Father God, not all the time, but at times. And I thank you for being patient not to give up on me and that you love me and that you endure with me. Thank you for your endurance, Father God, and your perseverance and persistence with me and consistency with me and that you are a consistent God, a diligent God. I thank you that you are a good God all the time and that you are good to me all the time, Jehovah Yah, my Heavenly Father. I praise you and I thank you, Father God, for your goodness, Father God. And I love you, Father God, and I adore you and admire you, Father God, for the wonderful God that you are. A holy, righteous God. A God that is always the same and never changes, Father God. You're the same today, yesterday, and forever, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that you are a God that always keep the promises of your word, Father God. And I thank you for the word that you have created, Father God. The word, you are the word. And I thank you for your uncompromising, your uncompromising word, Father God. I thank you for your 
kindness to me, Father, your love and your mercy and your favor to me, Father. I thank you for your divine protection and divine provisions for me, Father God. I thank you for always making a way out of no way for me and that you do miracles so great. And for the great miracles that you do for me and my life, I thank you for your healing power. And I thank you for healing me, Father God. Thank you so much for healing me and my body, Father God, and my spirit and my soul, Father God, and my mind. I thank you so much, Father God, for restoring everything that the devil has stolen from me, Father God, through any type of witchcraft, sorcery, divination, through slander and gossip. I thank you, Father God, that you are fighting my battles for me and going ahead of me and fighting my battles for me and fighting and subduing my spiritual enemies and my natural enemies. Heavenly Father God, I thank you, Father God, that you are bringing adjudication to all slavery and bondage for all the persecuted lambs and for me and for your children, Father God, that are being oppressed through any type of modern day slavery programs throughout this world. I thank you for ending human trafficking and covert gain stocking programs and all bondage and slavery for all the captives, Father God, and the prisoners for setting the prisoners free and the captives free and the exiles free. Father God, and those that are appointed to death, Father God, I thank you for doing miracles so great in my life, Father, so great in the lives of your children, so great in the lives of the children, Father God, and the innocent lambs and all the innocents that are being bullied and persecuted and oppressed every day and stolen from and all from all cruelty, Father God, being lied to and lied upon and being mistreated, ill-treated all the time. Father, I thank you for releasing your favor upon me and your children and the persecuted lambs and the innocents from children to adults. And I thank you for freeing the children from their controllers and handlers and pressers from those that are hurting the children, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Father, by your supernatural hand and power and by your spirit, Father, I thank you for your anointing that destroys every yoke and removes every burden, Father God, off of my life and off the lives of all the innocents and your children, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, off the lives of all the persecuted lambs, in Jesus Christ's name, Father. I give you glory and honor to you, Father God. You are great and mighty. You are a mighty God, Father God. You're mighty to battle, Father God, and powerful to battle for me and all your children and all the innocents from children children to adults all over this world, Father God. I thank you for delivering me, Father God, that you are my deliverer, you are my redeemer, you are my hiding place, my shelter, Father God my habitation, my security, Father God. You are the Lord, my shepherd, that I shall not want. I thank you that you never leave me nor forsake me, Father God, and that you stick by me through thick and thin, and that you are always with me in the times of trouble, Father God, and you're with me right now because I'm in a lot of time of trouble, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you are mighty to save and to deliver me and all your children and all the persecuted lambs and souls out there and the innocents and the children and the animals, Father God. I thank you for taking good care of me and protecting my loved ones and protecting my cat, Max, Father God, and protecting your children and the persecuted lambs and protecting the children and the animals everywhere in the world from all evil, danger, and harms. I thank you, Father God, for sending your angels to guard and protect me and fight for me and to work on assignment to deliver me from all bondage, Father God. And slavery and imprisonment. Father, I thank you and I praise you for putting adjudication and eradication to this satanic ritualistic abuse in my life and this unjust policing surveillance in my life. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you and I praise you, Father God, and I give you glory for all the good things that you do for me and your children and all the persecuted lambs. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, amen.
Father, I now want to take the time to pray for all souls that are being traumatized, Father God. I thank you and I praise you, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name for delivering the ones that are being traumatized through any type of persecutions, Father God, through any type of sexual abuse, satanic ritualistic abuse, Father God, covert and overt satanic ritualistic abuse of all types operating through human agents of the devil, Father God, through these modern day slavery programs and through organizations and businesses and churches and stuff, Father God, and through secret society, societies, Father God, I thank you, Father God, for healing, Father God, the ones that are being traumatized. And Father, I pray that you will heal every man, woman, boy, and girl, Father God, that is being traumatized all over the world, in America, in Canada, in Israel, and all seven continents of this earth, Father, that you will heal their souls from any type of abuse that has caused any trauma in their lives, any type of noise harassment, demonic harassment, satanic harassment, Father God, through any type of witchcraft, satanic ritualistic abuse, Father God, in any type of way that you will heal these wonderful lambs and the innocents from children to adults that are being abused and traumatized through their evil controllers and handlers through these modern day slavery programs of all types of human trafficking and sex trafficking and organ trafficking, labor trafficking, Father God, prostitution rings and transgendering rings, Father God, and through any type of Satanism and evil organizations and occults and cults, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and through any type of churches or organizations, Father God, and through underground places, Father God, that you will heal the children, that you will heal the adults, Father God, from any type of trauma, abuse, and satanic ritualistic abuse, Father God, and any type of demonic harassment, Father God, and electronic harassment and noise campaign harassment, Father God, that you would deliver, Father God, and heal the ones that are being traumatized by paranormal stuff, by demons and stuff, Father God, in their homes or places, Father God, that's being harassed demonically in that way with paranormal stuff happening in their homes or other places, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, through human agents of the devil that's releasing that kind of stuff on innocent people to traumatize them, and through noise committee campaigns, Father God, tortures, and through magnetic weaponries, Father God, that's being tortured and traumatized in that way as well, and that's being abused and bullied by bullies, and teased and ostracized and harassed and stalked, Father God, that you will heal all the traumatized souls that's being traumatized and has been caused to have anxiety and fear, Father God, and social um, phobias, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will break and destroy these spirits of trauma and fear. Father God, that's being induced behind witchcraft, abuse, satanic ritualistic abuse, Father God, and gang stalking and hate stalking, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, through noise harassment campaigns and stuff, Father God, through human agents of the devil and by demons and paranormal stuff, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, by Satanism and witchcraft, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, from satanic ritualistic abuse of all types of overt and covert satanic ritualistic abuse. Father God, and I ask that you release the blood of Jesus Christ along with the fires of the Holy Spirit to burn and destroy the spirits of trauma and anxiety and fear. Father God, that come against all innocent souls and children to adults being persecuted through modern day slavery programs and through any type of businesses and agencies and through social mediums and entertainment industry Father God in Jesus Christ's name Father God I pray that you will heal these souls that are being persecuted with trauma and being traumatized by the controllers and handlers and human agents of the devil Father God by your supernatural power and your 
anointing and by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit and that you release by force and by fire to burn up and destroy all spirits of trauma and anxiety and fear by the God and hatred and torture that come against all traumatized souls, all souls that are being traumatized by the God and that you will break the spirit of trauma off of all traumatized souls that's being traumatized with any type of trauma Father God by force by fire with the blood of Jesus Christ and your anointing and the fires of the Holy Ghost down to the ashes to the ground tonight in Jesus Christ's name and that you release your power and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the traumatized souls your healing anointing and power and comforting hands upon all traumatized souls and and comfort them on every side Father God in Jesus Christ's name I pray Father God that you release your comforting angels in to encamp around all the souls from children to adults that are being traumatized everywhere in the world, Father God, from any type of trauma, from any type of abuse and torture and affliction, Father God, and harassment in Jesus Christ's name and paranormal stuff from demons and stuff, Father God, and from witches.